One thing I will say is though, if he wore trainers, he might have survived. If the guy just wore some trainers, he would have slipped to the end, probably wouldn't have died. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video I'm going to be watching a Tales of Runeteria video called Shadow Islands Non Escapes. So, I don't know too much about this video, I recently watched the first two which was Before Glory and The Raid. It would have been, when would that have been, maybe Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. Uh, yeah, so this is the next one I'm going to be doing, I believe the seven in total. So, without further ado, let's get it. Few know the truth of the Shadow Isles. Even fewer dare to venture there. Scary. Oi. Perhaps you're not ready. The black mists are reaching further across the waters every year. I can't let that happen. That is what your father said. I'll relight the words and come right back. I must do this for him. Go. you hello father mm -mm. So... father <laughs> This guy, fresh. Round and round we go. I love how he's just walking. He's not running. The guy's just walking. This character's called Thresh, and he is the same guy that I watched in Senna's Embrace, which was the first League of Legends video I watched and reacted to, which was amazing. I really like Lucian as well. Lucian was in that as well. Pff, really good, really cool character. And I think he was also in this, well, at least I think this scene, this place is the same as the one in uh, The Climb. I think it's The Climb as well. There's a couple of scenes in The Climb where Lucian's climbing up and he's going to, I think he goes right at the end to fight Thresh, doesn't he? Um, but yeah, that's really cool. I think it's the same scene. I think it's the same world. Um, and a nice little twist. A nice little twist at the end as well. I wasn't kind of expecting that. That was nice. That was nice. That got me. That got me. Right, so let me go back to the beginning. Watch it one more time. See what we can pick out. Few know the truth of the Shadow Isles. Even fewer dare to venture there. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so this is definitely the same place as what I saw in the climb because in that opening shot you saw the tower, didn't you? On the far left hand side there's the big tower. I'm sure that's the same one that Lucian climbs up at the end, doesn't it? Right at the last scene in the climb where he's got his two guns, I'm sure that's the same tower. So yeah, definitely the same place. Ready. The black mists are reaching further across the waters every year. I can't let that happen. That is what your father said. I relight the words and come right back. I must do this for him. Go. Hello? Father? Yep. This is cool as well. What I like about this as well is I like it kind of shows that he's going on the same journey as his father went on in the past. And by the looks of it, he's making the same mistakes. The mistakes that caught out his father, he's following like father, like son. So obvious, isn't it? So obvious it's a trap. Just no. no. I love that as well. I love how it falls over the smallest branch. The smallest little branch on the floor, it falls over. And obviously the shot pans to this here, doesn't it? Or it shows this scene here. He leaves this lantern, doesn't it? I wonder if that would have protected him. I wonder if he actually picked that back up. Would, would that have protected him from the actual souls um, and the, in this place? I don't know, maybe. I love that as well. Round and round he's just walking. That's a cool shot as well. Did you check that? Let me see that shot again. I think it was upside down, wasn't it? That's cool. This part here. Round and round yeah. Go. Looks upside down. That's cool. We're trainers, man. We're trainers. Come on now. No! Yeah, so this is the best bit in the in the trailer. This is the reveal. You know, that he actually still thinks he's alive and he goes that he goes to try and get back in this bubble with his mother. And it ties back in nicely with right at the beginning. This soul tried to get in at him when he was on the boat and it couldn't get in. And then right at the end here, he couldn't get it back, get back in. So you're thinking, eh, maybe he then is a soul. And then that obviously that shot where it shows his body on the floor, I really like because it's so delayed. You know, he isn't even aware that he's been his, his soul has been taken. And then he can almost look back at himself and see his body on the floor, which is kind of creepy as well. But that's cool. So yeah, that's my favourite part in the in the trailer. That is the truth of the Isles. Mortals come, lured by hope, and we are always waiting. Got him. Got him. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that was pretty good actually. That was that was pretty good. So let me recap on this one. First thing I will say is I like the actual costume designs and the look of the two characters, the mother and the son. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a mixture between ancient Greek and ancient Egyptian like wear, like clothing. So that's pretty cool. 
I do like the design. One thing I will say is though, if he wore trainers, he might have survived. If the guy just wore some trainers, he wouldn't have slipped to the end, probably wouldn't have died. Anyway, that's by the by. Secondly, Thresh. Even though I don't like him, I really, really like him as well. His design, his character is perfect for this role. You know, he's kind of like this villainous like, antagonist. Really works. I like his look as well. And I also noticed, I like he's got the, the keychain with all the keys on. And then he holds the lantern with the souls in. That really, really works as well. So I do like that. Also, I liked, I liked his look in um, Shadow, Senna's Embrace, and also in The Climb as well. So I think he's really cool. Uh, also, I like how it kind of shows the, the son's making the same mistakes as the father, or at least I presume what the father made as well. So obviously the father's gone, he is um, refilling these lanterns, these wards, I presume to kind of protect the, the land from these souls. And whatever mistake he made, I'm going to guess it was very similar to the same mistake his son made. So his son's gone to honour his father, he's going to take up that role. He sees the ghost of his father and kind of makes the same mistake. Gets lured out of his safety and obviously then he dies. So that was cool. I like how it kind of showed like father like son as well there. And also the big twist, the big reveal at the end where you're following him back to the boat. You think he's almost made it back to the boat and then the reveal is that he can't get back in. And the shot pans, it turns around on it, and he basically sees his dead self. That's kind of weird. He basically sees his dead self, doesn't he? So he realises, or should I say, he doesn't realise he's dead until he looks back and sees himself. So that was a nice cool reveal at the end as well. So yeah, overall, decent. Overall, decent. Decent little... Um trailer i guess you could call it so yeah um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction and breakdown of this uh, this trailer this is part three or number three should i say i believe today there's seven in total so i will be doing i forgot what it's called i will be doing number four shortly uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh yeah if you did feel free to like comment and also subscribe for more content like this and also if you do subscribe don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos and i will see you guys in the next one